Hey you guys, welcome back to On The Farm with EIEIO. Today we are going to show you all the stuff that the horses do in a day. We're Evelyn, Isaac, Eli, Isla, and this is Oren. And this is On The Farm with E, I, E, I. Oren, say O. Oh. Let's go. Okay, go. You guys ready for a bath? You ready? Hey, pretty girl. Spots just turned 25 a couple days ago, so happy birthday. So I'm going to show you all the supplies that we need to bathe our horses. First, we have a big bucket that we're gonna put our soapy water in. Mane and tail shampoo. It's not for the mane and tail, it's just the brand. A sponge, a curry comb. Let's go grab the horses. Now I'm going to bathe the horses starting on Selena. I start at her legs and I work my way up, just getting her wet. Now I'm going to rub the soap all over her. She's doing really good. She's just standing still and being really calm. And then I use a rubber curry comb to scrub all that soap. And then I just rinse it all off. Now after I do the other side, I show her the hose on her face and I just let her play with it for a minute so she can get used to it. And then I just rinse off her face. She's doing really good, staying really calm and relaxed. She's such a good girl. And then I scrub her mane all up with soap and then I do her tail. She's actually a lot cleaner than I expected her to be. Start on her legs, there you go. Now work your way up slowly. Now Eli is starting up on Spots. Spots is really good at keeping herself clean, so she doesn't need too much. But she's doing really good and she's being super cool. soap everywhere. Now rinse all the soap off. Spots is my 25 year old paint mare. She is such a good girl, but sometimes she can be a cranky old lady. Comment down below, who do you think is cleaner, Selena or Spots? So America has never felt a hose before. So I'm just gonna spray it on her hoof for a little bit until she gets comfortable. You can tell she's a little bit scared of it, but I gotta make sure to reward her, let her know that she's doing a good job. And eventually she just calms down a little bit and realizes it's not a problem and that it's not gonna hurt her. And so eventually she lets me spray off her whole body and she does really good. So I just spray her off. I'm not gonna give her a full bath because I don't want to do too much too quick. Yeah, she did great. I think America did really good for her first time. She just had to get used to it. So now we're gonna put the horses back out so that we can eat some lunch and so that they can eat their lunch too. We keep our horses out on pasture 24 seven, except America has to go in at night. So now I'm going to tack up Selena so that we can go on our ride. So 
So today I'm going to be doing a trail ride with Selena around our field. I'm going to start by warming her up at the walk, the trot, and the lope. So right now I'm trying to get Selena to trot, but all she wants to do is lope. She loves loping. So Selena is my 19 year old quarter horse black mare and she is super sweet. I got her almost a year ago and she is just such a good horse. I felt a connection with her right away. So the reason I'm taking Selena on a trail ride today is because she is afraid of all things new. She was trained in an arena, so that's what she's most comfortable with, and that was what she was used to. So I take her on trail rides to get her over that fear. She definitely has come a long way. Last year, she wouldn't even let me come down by this tree line, but I didn't want to push her because she was still kind of new. So now I've started working with her on that, and she's doing great. You can definitely tell that she's keeping her eyes on the trees and staying very alert. She loves to run up this hill. Go Eli, swim faster, swim faster. Yeah, you're going to win the swimming race. Evelyn's going to give me a riding lesson. Good job. Okay, other side. Remember when you walk around, put your hand on her butt. There you go. The patch goes in front. Very good. Throw it on her back. There you go. Pull it through. Good. Just like me, Isla loves horses, so mom and dad have me give her riding lessons so that one day, when she's older, she can take care of a horse of her own. Put this foot into your stirrup. There you go. And jump up, grab the horn, and swing your foot over. There you go. Isla, your hands are upside down. There you go. Kind of like that. Jump above the horn. Remember to look where you want to go. Now slide your hand down and turn that way. Good. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, and now relax your hands. Look where you want to go. Keep your heels down. A couple updates on the goat. Poppy never had babies and she showed up one day looking skinny like she wasn't pregnant. I have no idea what was going on with her, but she didn't have any babies. She's not going to have any, so... Sadly, tomorrow the baby goats are going to be leaving us. They're all four going together, which is great. I'm glad they'll all be together, and they're going to really great homes. So for feeding the horses, we feed them this all stock grain. So I always soak the grain because it helps them digest it better and it also helps Selena with her choking issues. So Selena's problem is she'll scarf all her food down and then she'll choke it back up. So I need to put rocks and bricks in there just to make sure she doesn't eat too quick. So this is Selena's food. And this is Spots, and we feed America in her pen. This is what a day in the life of our horses is like. Thanks for visiting our farm today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions. Love from our farm to your home. Because America never had any...
has never had any water spray out for food we give our horses this all stock feed so for so for our horses we give okay let me see so for feed selena here's spots here girls who's hungry here's selena here's spots here girls is it puking alert? <laughs>